Qatar Airways joined One World Alliance all the way back in October 2013. Now, the topic of an airline alliance can be quite confusing for some people, but there's no reason to be because it's actually quite simple. All it means is that you can earn miles on one airline and redeem them on another airline which they have an alliance with. Through this partnership, airlines can market seats for partner airlines on their website. So for this example, if you wanted to fly from JFK to London Heathrow and you booked via the Qatar Airways website, then Qatar will put you on a British Airways flight since they operate that route. Of course, this is a huge simplification, but you get the idea. Now, the CEO of Qatar Airways, Al Bakir, has a history of making dramatic announcements, and the latest drama that he's caused is that he's threatening that the airline could leave the One World Alliance totally. Now, I should give him a bit of slack because there's a bit of truth in what he said. He's basically said that there's no more spirit left in the alliance, especially since American Airlines is always targeting, slandering, and giving misinformation to the US government about Qatar Airways. He's even gone a step further, with the government now targeting Air Italy, stating that they're violating the Open Skies Agreement that they agreed with the US government. He's also talking about the behavior of Qantas and how they're trying to box the airline with the help of Emirates in denying the airline to enter into Australia. Now, after doing a bit of investigation, you can really sense that the issues come down to political problems in the Gulf. At the moment, the airline is still being boycotted by several of its neighbors and their planes aren't allowed to use their airspace. Now, in my opinion, it's absolutely ridiculous that the legacy carriers have continuously targeted the Gulf carriers due to the fear of being overdone by competition. But this is nothing new because it's been happening for such a long time. It's only in the past few years are we hearing about it due to frustration. Now, the only reason why alliances occurred in the first place was due to airlines having a close relationship already. So extending that relationship to an alliance was only natural. But ever since more and more alliance groups started to form, the intention has changed to the more the merrier and the value has unfortunately decreased. But we should remember one thing guys, whether you joined an alliance or not, it's a cutthroat environment out there and everyone is essentially looking out for themselves. I mean, we can already see that in this video with the US carriers and the Gulf carriers. Now how sad is that? Now the question that we need to ask, will Qatar Airways leave One World Alliance? Well, when push comes to shove, in my opinion, I don't think they will. And the reason for that is, is that the airline isn't really losing out on anything. In fact, they're flying more passengers on their planes due to their partnership. Also, they're heavily invested in airlines such as Cathay Pacific and Latam, who are also part of One World Alliance. Now, I have to admit that I haven't been keeping tabs regarding their performance, but from the outset, their growth looks relatively healthy. So it would be counterintuitive for them to leave the alliance, especially since they want to grow these airlines that they've heavily invested in. But at the end of the day guys, Al Bakir is known in the industry for being a hot mouth and making crazy statements. And while the threat of leaving One World is serious at the moment, I don't think anything like this will happen anytime soon. So guys, that's all there is for Qatar, One World Alliance and so on and so forth. Now, I find this subject to be really fascinating and I'm curious to see how it will develop. Nevertheless, captains, if you want to add something, then by all means do so. Drop me a like if you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for the next one.